solder launch to work the first thing I needed to do was create three mixers you can see those on the, uh, the screen the three lines that were added into the um, elevator channel uh, and I've added a comment there that uh, line adds you up elevator the second line channel 3 will start the motor and the third line down switches the APM to stabilize you'll see the delay times in there so obviously the first two first thing to happen as you'll see in the video is a delay of three seconds after hitting the switch the APM uh, will be switched to stabilize by the Tyrannus uh, after that the up elevator is added with delay of five seconds and then it gives me the countdown and I launch and the motor is started and you can see there at 14 and a half seconds all those timings are added to uh, deal with the uh, timings for the custom wave file that was made for the uh, Tyrannus uh, to run in conjunction with the uh, order launch sequence Hi everyone, back the field this morning to make some tests a couple of weeks ago on RC groups someone made a post about programming the Tyrannus to uh, do an auto launch there's a couple of comments in the group about it I thought it was quite interesting so what I've done is I've programmed my Tyrannus to do an auto launch and uh, I'm here to test it this morning so I've got my FX61 my uh, Tyrannus transmitter and we're going to try it out. I've got the FX61 on my uh, bungee launcher here so what's going to happen is I'm going to switch to auto launch the Tyrannus will automatically switch my APM flight controller and to stabilize apply 15 degrees of up elevator and give me a countdown to launch once the model is launched, it should automatically start the throttle for me. <laughs> throttle hold off. That's the theory. So let's just uh, let's just see what happens with the sequence of events here. I'll we'll just walk the model out and get some tension onto the bungee. Okay, tension is now on a bungee launcher. Make sure the throttle hold switch is off. I'm now going to switch the Tyrannus to auto launch, and you should hear the prompts from the uh, radio itself. Warning: launch system activated. Switch on to stabilize. Applying your elevator. Countdown: five, four, three, two, one, launch. Starting motor. Well, that worked absolutely beautifully. Auto launch off. Switch it out of auto. Take control. Stabilize. That worked really well. So I bring the FX61 back in for a landing. We'll try that again. It's not a bad morning here today, it's reasonably calm.
So, successful first auto launch with programming only on a Tyrannus. We'll try that again. Here we go for the second attempt of the Tyrannus auto launch, or the Tyrannus programmed auto launch of my FX61, I should say. The first one went pretty well. I'm hoping this one's going to do the same. Warning. Launch system activated. Switch into stabilize. Apply your elevator. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Launch. Starting motor. Stabilize. There we go. Looks pretty good. Auto launch off. I'm quite happy with that actually. I know that one or two of the guys have messed about with it. And uh, personally, I think it's a better way of uh, auto launching than using the auto launch feature in the flight controller. I'm quite happy with that. FX 61's flying nicely here this morning. This is really only the second flight it's had on the upgraded APM flight controller. It's doing pretty well. Okay, we'll bring us in for landing. Yeah, worthwhile project actually. Worthwhile project. Throttle, hold on. Manual. Beautiful.